Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is ant on the boundary. So in this question, an ant is on the boundary and sometimes it goes left and sometimes right. You are given an array consisting of non-zero elements and the array's name is nums. The ant starts reading nums from left to right, that is from the starting element to its end and in each steps, it moves according to the value of the current element. And a task is to return the number of times the ant returns to its boundary. And these are the two conditions given. There is infinite number of space on both sides of the boundary. That is the first condition. And we check whether the ant is on the boundary only after it has moved the current element's amount of units. In other words, if the ant crosses the boundary during its movement, it does not count. So it exactly has to be on the boundary. So let us depict the first example on a number line. So boundary here means we are at zero. So this is the boundary and we start iterating from left to right. So first we take the first element. So it goes two steps to the right because this is two right. So it goes two steps to the right and it is at two now. Next we go to the next element. It is three. So it goes three more steps and it goes to five. And now we go to the last element. It goes minus five. So we it comes minus five steps to its left. And now the ant is back to its boundary. That is the first time it came back to its boundary. So in the whole process, the ant has come back to the boundary once. So one will be the output for the first example. Now let's take the second example. Let's draw the number line because the boundary is zero. We start at zero. It goes three steps to the right. So it's at three now. And it goes two steps to the right again. So it's at five now. So it went three steps. It goes two steps here. And now it goes three steps back. So it comes to two. So it comes to 2 so it came 3 steps back and now it's at 2 and from here it goes 4 steps to its left so it comes back to minus 3 so the ant is now at minus 3 and we reach the end of the array and the second condition states that if it crosses the boundary it doesn't stop it exactly has to come to the boundary so here it's crossing the boundary so it doesn't count and in the whole process the count of it coming back to the boundary is 0 so 0 is the output for the second example so now let's implement the same steps in a java program so let's take the first example. This is the input given to us and the input is 2, 3, minus 5. And now count will be the number of times it came back to boundary. And now we have to keep the track of the sum and we iterate from left to right. So starting it's here. So sum is equal to 0 initially. And now we add 2 to it. So sum becomes 2. And now we have to check in each step if sum is equal to 0. If that is the case, count will be incremented. So count was initially 0, right? Now we check if this is equal to 0. No. So we go to the next element. In the next element, it's 3. So we add 3 to the current sum. So sum becomes 5. We check if 5 is equal to 0. No. So count remains same and we go to the next element. Next element, the current sum is 5 and we add minus 5 to it and sum becomes 0. We check if the sum is equal to 0. Yes. So increment count. Count will be incremented by 1 and count is 0 and we reach the end of the array. Finally, whatever is present inside count, count has the value 1, so 1 will be returned as output which is expected here. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the input array nums. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.